Hi, welcome to Gramster. One of my viewers recently asked me to do a more detailed video on Kodi. So I'm going to use this Android TV box for my demonstration. The brand name for this one is Small Rocket. The model is X3 and it costs about under $40, like $40 off Amazon. In the packaging, this came with a remote control, that Android TV box, and also a HDMI cable. And the first thing I'm going to do is plug in the power here. a little bit for this to boot up. And press the power button here for a sec. Small rocket. All right, so it's booting up. While that's booting up, I'm going to show the Kodi website. So the Kodi website is kodi.tv and from now going forward, you're probably going to see a lot more Android TV boxes that does not have Kodi pre-installed. I believe that's the thing I saw recently. There were some um, countries that forbid it. Isn't that now legal? So Android TV boxes like Small Rocket, they made the sell process very simple, where you can just essentially use their interface to download Kodi. And here's the splash screen. I'm just going to choose my language here for a sec. English. I'm gonna choose change my scale. Sometimes it's not scale properly, but for this one it is. Next. Now this is for adding my Wi-Fi information. And after adding the Wi-Fi information, just hit connect. Done. Next. And this just goes a little brief layout on the home interface, the splash screen, that's fine. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Successful. Hit OK, complete. So everything's here. Now, a couple of things to point out is if I ever want to change of any of those settings, I can always go to the settings page. For example, under network, I can choose different Wi-Fi. If I wanted, I can go to the Ethernet if I wanted to, go to VPN. If I want to rescale, I just head back to the display and it'll be under screen position. I'll be over here, I can zoom in or zoom out. For Kodi, one of the more important settings is the daytime, right over here. The reason this is important is because the daytime is used by the Kodi add-ons when it tries doing a search or a filter. So if your daytime is a couple years back, well, you're gonna get kind of weird search results. Head back to home screen here. And I'm headed to the My Apps section. So here are the apps that came pre-installed. Cody's not on here, YouTube's not on here, Netflix is not, not on here. I can always download it from Play Store, but I'll need to enter my personal information. So there are other ways. On this remote control, there's a little help button right over here. And I'm gonna press the help button right now. It brings up this web page. It's tvboxceo.com. I can just move, press the directional key on the remote control and head to solutions. Now, over here, they're not referring to Kodi as Kodi, they're referring to it by the old name. The previous name for Kodi was XBMC, which is Xbox Media Center, which was developed when the Xbox first came out. I'm not sure exactly when they changed it to Kodi, but some of us still know it by Xbox Media Center. And I'm head to solutions section. So all they did was they just renamed it TVMC. I'm gonna head to the TVMC side over here. Start download and there's different choices. Well, one reason there's different choices is Goes back to here's the Kodi web page again at Kodi.tv. I'm gonna head to the download section here, and there are different versions of Kodi for different operating systems. And even within the operating system, like Android, for example, there are different files and install files to choose from based on your CPU. Over here, I know 17.1 is the latest. I'm gonna hit OK. And it's asking me, do I want to download the file? So my yes, starting to download. 
So while that, that's downloading, it'll be pretty quick. If the Android TV box of yours is not like the small rocket, you can always just download it and then place it on a flash drive. All right, so I finished downloading. You hit, scroll down to the install section over here. Hit OK, and it's installing. So the power of Kodi in the past was just basically to watch videos that you download yourself, uh, listen to music that you placed, MP3s that you own, or pictures that you own. Let me hit scroll down, hit done, then head back to the home. What made Kodi very popular nowadays is the add-ons. So now we got the TVMC right over here. I'm going to launch it. This is just their own splash screen, but it's still Kodi. Once you're in here, you can see that it's it looks just like any other Kodi. So if you ever need to follow someone's website on other tutorials, you can. This, or if everything over you see over here, like you, if you need to add different services, different add-ons, head to the settings page over here. Now, the add-ons are what makes Kodi powerful. In my opinion, it makes Kodi powerful. There's different uses. Like I mentioned, you can still watch videos if you want. You can still listen to music if you want. But for me, I use it for the add-ons. But adding the add-ons on here and trying to type all those websites and passwords with a remote control, well, that does take a lot of time. So let me head back to the home page over here for a second. And I'm going to click on the help again. So now I'm back here. I'm going to head to Solutions again. This time, I'm going to click on K Add-ons. Do I want to download? Yes. All right, now I'm going to open. Right over there. I'm going to open this K Add-ons. Here's a little disclaimer. All right, here I'm going to browse it based on section. So I'm going to go to live TV first. Here are the plugins, add ons for live TV. And I'm going to just show like, like TED Talks, for example. I'm going to hit OK. And it just downloaded it. See this little red bar? And head back. There's cartoons. I'm mean, going to you know, do a little Tom and Jerry here. Astounding. Finished. Back. Let's see, movies. And um, by far the most popular one is probably Exodus. So, hit OK. It's going to download that. And while it's downloading, the scroll. So you can see what else is out there. Just popcorn flicks. Uh, probably just YouTube or Phoenix, that's also popular as well. As for Exodus, it's just about finished downloading. All right, finished. Then here's sports. Here in the sports, you can download some of the options here. And if you were to click on all, I believe you just download all the plugins and I don't really want that because well I don't need all of it let me hit exit yes I'm head back to home all right I'm gonna clear the clean the memory here that little icon head back to my apps and now I'm going to go to TVMC I'm going to scroll down to this section, add-ons. So here's the video add-ons, music add-ons, and to add any music add-ons, Android apps. There's, of course, there's my add-ons. 
But let me head back to video add-ons. These are the add-ons I just installed. And Exodus. So with Exodus, before I mentioned about how the daytime preference, just make sure that it has the correct daytime on your Android TV box. That's because if you were to go someplace like movies, for example, and but your system daytime was like 2008, and if you go to years, you're not you're only going to see up to 2008. That's why it's important to have it as the current daytime. And here I'm just well, I'm not actually going to stream anything, but I'm going to show you that if I go to 2013, I can browse a lot of the available movies or movies from that year. Head back, head back. This is also XSL is also popular to use to use to for TV shows. You can see new episodes. There's so many ways to filter this to sort it. You can see like what's currently in the theaters, Oscar winners, different categories, or just head all the way to the bottom and search it yourself. All right, I'm hit back here. So that was Exodus, and that was installed using the K add-ons. Now I'm going to show Ted. So even though I installed that off K add-ons, did not work. So not everything works off that little um, quick shortcut. Two of the add-ons I installed did not work, so I can always go and remove it by scrolling down to my add-ons right over here. And just go to video add-ons. And it's like Cartoon HD. And just get rid of that. The last one is uninstall. Yes. Then like TED Talks, same thing. Uninstall. It's fine. So now it's all set. All I have left is Cody. I can configure it if I need to. Playback accounts. Enable subtitles here if I wanted. I mentioned you can install apps using the Google Play Store or using the helpful website that was provided by Small Rocket. Or you can always install from a flash drive by just plugging a flash, putting your files on a flash drive and plugging it in. USB connected, that's fine. Let's head back home screen because I want to browse it through the My Apps using the file manager or file browser right over there. So I'm going to choose my flash drive, my Kingston. Let's go down to my APK. And here I can install other apps. For example, 5IK, TV Box. Let me just install the first one here. Just hit OK. It's asking for accepted permissions. Yes. Install. Alright, done. Besides streaming from some other server, I can also load movies or home movies, movies I downloaded onto a flash drive and play it off this Android TV box, Small Rocket. So here I placed one of my files in here. This is a, like a 600 meg video file. And I can choose different ways to play it. I can play it using the Kodi. I can play it using the movie player or video player. I'm going to choose the movie player here. It's a bit loud. All right, I'm back here for a sec. Just to sum it up, there are different ways to install the apps you want. So for example, my focus was Kodi, and with this Android TV box, Small Rocket, they had a very easy to use interface in their help system that allowed me to download it, and also install the Exodus add-on, where if I were to do the other methods, other method would be downloading Kodi from the Google Play Store, or download the Kodi on computer, copy into my flash drive, plugging the flash drive to the TV box and installing it. But even then, I still need to manually type out the add-on address into Kodi. Best thing to do is probably just get like a USB keyboard, plug it in, but still that takes time. And it's not difficult. Just trying to type out using a little remote control is not that simple. 
but since Small Rocket has that useful interface, it just made things a lot easier. The power of Kodi, in my opinion, is the add-ons. So there's there are plenty of them out there. You can use it to stream live TV. You can use it to listen to music. You can listen to you can use it to watch more other different types of videos. So yeah, I definitely recommend getting one of these TV boxes. They cost around forty dollars off Amazon, and they basically turn your TV into a smart TV. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching, Hamster. Bye.